The second piece on the program is Mahler's Kinder Totenlieder, which is a piece that is beautiful, of course, but very difficult to program. The English translation is Songs on the Death of Children. So it's a very intimate and powerful piece of music, and it's very real because Mahler himself lived with this experience. He had eight of his siblings die, actually, when he was a young child, and one of them was his favorite brother, Ernst, and that is an experience that never really left him. It was one of the more powerful events in his life. And so he began writing these songs when he discovered 428 poems called On the Death of Children by Friedrich Rückert. And he kind of became obsessed with this idea, remembering what his childhood was like. And the morbid thing is he had just had a daughter that was born named Maria. And his wife thought, Gustav, why are you obsessed with this? Don't tempt fate. If you're writing these songs with our newborn daughter, something very bad could happen. And unfortunately, after he wrote the songs, little Maria passed away from scarlet fever. So Mahler really had death constantly as a part of his life. And it was something he was always aware of. But the good thing is it's not a morbid or overly brooding composition. He always finds a way to come back to this place of sort of transcendent acceptance of death. And that's something we see in Kinder Totenlieder and the Song of the Earth and his Ninth Symphony and all of these different pieces. He finds a way to accept fate and what is going to happen to him. And we leave the piece in this place of sort of beautiful acceptance. It's one of the most raw and intimate pieces that he ever wrote. He doesn't rely on nature images or military images. It's just music about one specific thing. And so I think it's going to be so powerful in this intimate space because it's some of the most intimate music that Mahler ever wrote.